Hi, I'm Joe Reinhardt, President of the Partner Board for Knox County's Food for the Hungry Drive. Over the past 27 years, Food for the Hungry has thrived because of the efforts of many volunteers, including you, who give their time and service to help Inner Church and the Salvation Army. Over the years, we've taken time not only to honor those volunteers, but remember those that we've lost, special people that we miss so much, like Charlie Kilkenny, Helen Zelkowitz, Pete Fry, John Nesbitt, and Dave Nelson. And Mount Vernon Nazarene University launched the Zelkowitz Memorial Award in 1995 to honor the late Stephen Zelkowitz by recognizing key people in the community who have made service a part of their life. In April of this year, we lost a man whose friendly smile and helping hand greeted many Knox Countyans when they dropped off food and funds at the front of Mount Vernon City Hall, Denny Irwin. And this year, Food for the Hungry would like to honor Denny's memory by dedicating the drive to him and presenting his family with the Stephen Zelkowitz Memorial Award. Denny was born in Lodi, Ohio in 1941 and after high school served in the U.S. Army from 1960 to 1964. He was employed for 35 years by the local telephone company, first known as United Telephone, then Sprint. Denny started in the accounting department, then worked in the control center and retired as a construction foreman in 2001. Denny's wife Betty was gracious enough to allow us to visit with her and share some memories of her late husband. Well, we worked together for several years. He joined the Lions Club in 89. So we had several years that we worked together on projects and all. And you really get to know people when you work with them. And he was very, very nice and very helpful and for a six foot four man, very gentle. You know, it's t he was kind of intimidating at first because he's six foot four when I met him. I'm five one. But it just his personality, it just, it, everybody could see it and how special he was. When he walked into a room, he just almost lit up a room. It was just his person, his smile. And the women said he gave the best hugs, and he really did. Another person with fond memories of Denny was his colleague in the Mount Vernon Lions Club, Joe Guttridge. Of course, the Lions motto is we serve, and Denny probably served as much as any. He was very upbeat, he was very friendly, he always was there on every project. He was always uh, willing to chair any project that wasn't being chaired. Um, he probably was one of the greatest members probably that I have known in Lions Club in all the years that I say I've been in it uh, as a charter member because uh, he was there and he was willing to do and willing to serve. And as I said, the Lions motto is we serve. He was talked into joining by a fellow worker, that they work for Sprint, and from Frasiesburg, and he talked him into joining our club. And he just, he just dove into it, and just did everything did it, that we did, he was a part of. He just really enjoyed it. And with eyes, I've had eye trouble since 1963. So it's just a combination of different things. He just, he just loved to serve. After we were married, we were, well, we were involved with the Lions before, but I think what really touched his heart was he wanted to be governor. And he was a governor in 2007, 2008, and we were gone six nights a week, so we were practically inseparable. I, I guess we probably have, in working together, uh, we've went to him, with him to uh, become district governor. We had to go to, there's 50, I think, four clubs in the district now. We had to travel to all those clubs. He had to travel to all those clubs and, and of course, uh, see them even after he got to be district governor. We traveled, my wife and I, several times with him and, uh, and Betty uh, to these different places. Um, very sad situation that uh, he was taken early in life. I mean, we, we really miss him and all these projects that we've got to do uh, now. Uh, without him, uh, you, you always keep thinking back as to, you know, we need him now. Denny was also a member of the Knox County Fair Board for 15 years. Fellow Fair Board member and friend Jim Shipley remembers what made Denny unique. My first impression of Denny was a big guy. I mean, he was very, very big, and, and, uh, but he was always joyful, you know what I mean, as far as that goes. But yeah, Denny was uh, 
that was your first impression is, my God, this guy's big. The fair board, he knew of several of the, of the men on the fair board, and somebody asked him to join, and he thought about it. We talked it over, and, and, he, and he joined, and he was a member for 15 years. The good Lord put us here to do something, you know, and to give out, you know. Uh, a lot of people say, why do you do all that work and you don't get paid? It's because you see people walking up and down the midway or uh, out doing things, you know, and they're enjoying themselves. You have put, as a fair board person, you have put a tremendous amount of people in one place to enjoy themselves at a cheap price. That's what I got to say about Denny. You know, he didn't care about the pay. He, he, was, he wanted the enjoyment of the people.